Hey, how's it going? It's May 4th, 2022. This is your daily sweet talk. It's easy to be cynical about a lot of uh, the big productions coming out of Disney um, because largely a lot of them are pretty cynical. Uh, cash grabs, extensions of, of uh, big IP properties, you know. Um, and uh sometimes uh rushed cut corners you know um and out of that out of that i see a lot of um you know when when the big all the big stars that are attached to it um uh some of them may be known for more prestigious work usually or more respectable work, not superhero movies or Star Wars movies or whatever. Um, you know, big franchise stuff like that. And um, the way I'll see people talk about this is that, um, well, they, they, you know, that Disney money, they got to get that Disney money. Good, good on them for getting that Disney money. Uh, and then going and doing the, the the better projects, the more the more respectable projects, um, which uh, I, I I'm not saying that's ro- that's wrong. Like that makes sense a little bit that that's where a lot of them would be coming from. But but a lot of time it doesn't make sense. So take Oscar Isaac for example. He was in the recent Star Wars sequels and um, popular opinion about those is they did not turn out very well. And even people, people seem to sort of like frame it like at whether it's true or not. I don't know that the stars of the movies, including Oscar Isaac, even are like aware of how poorly it turned out in the end. Uh, And they're not, very happy with how it turned out. I don't know if that's true or not, or what they think about it or not, but that's how it's kind of framed. Um, but then, like, shortly after, like a year, you know, however much time after, he signed on with Disney again to portray Moon Knight in another, like, arguably cynical... Um, blockbuster streaming series, you know, and he didn't need to do that. Like he doesn't like, this is what, this is kind of what I think of whenever people are like, oh, they got to get that Disney money and then go on and do their other projects. They don't need to do this. Um, so at a certain point you kind of have to think it's fun <laughs> for them. And I think, it, I think they are having, I think that's, what is happening all the time is they're just, it's just a fun project to work on. And it, it does seem like it would be fun to work on. Um, and yeah, it's not the same caliber as like doing a Coen brothers movie or whatever. But, um, I remember, I remember seeing a commercial where he, where he said it was like one of the most, he said something like it was one of the most creative, creatively fulfilling projects he's worked on moon Knight. he was talking about moon, moon Knight when he said this um and you also have um ethan hawk in the in the commercial saying similarly praising it it wasn't a commercial it was the behind the scenes like um series they do on disney plus like um but it was a commercial for that uh and you know maybe they could just be saying it to sell the series but i don't know i think maybe Part of it is he like he was he, he was able to like put in the input of like he wanted to do that British accent for the character character and they let him do that and so I don't think it's all BS I think I think they do have fun doing these projects and I think that's why they do them and I think they have fun with the characters and the worlds um, and regardless of how cynical uh, you might think these projects are which is. I understand that. I, I think that to an extent, too. I don't think they're just doing it for the money. I think whenever people say, oh, got to get that Disney money, I don't think that's, that's really usually the case. 